Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the virtual console for Nintendo. Now, if you guys remember, you can look all the way back in my videos, and of course a lot of people were writing negative comments, especially on forums and all that stuff that I didn't know what I was talking about, and all this shit. And like I told you guys, I got nothing to lose here. The only thing I do here is the reason I made this channel is to give you guys the absolute damn truth. I do my investigation, and I do a thorough investigation, and in everything that I do, in fact so much to give you guys the absolute truth, because like you guys were, and I'm sure many of you guys got screwed over, uh, we listen to these corny reviews that get paid for by the following, if you know what I mean, and then you go and buy these stupid games or technology or whatever, come back home and realize that it's the biggest pile of poop that you ever could, could ever buy and you got scammed based on fake reviews, okay, and I'm not gonna, you know, obviously you're gonna see many of those and you gotta sift through it, so I got sick and tired of it, so I made my own review channel, I have a job. This is not my job. Like I said, the only reason I do this is a way that I want to give back to the community because, you know, I love people in general and I don't want to see you guys get screwed like I did in the past, even before YouTube ever came out. We didn't have the luxury of YouTube to come out. So I went and I made a couple videos and also spoke in forums where I said, I don't believe that Nintendo will have a virtual console. It doesn't look like it is anywhere that it's going to happen because already they're marketing games like you know all these regular games already are on the you know like mario and all of that already available on the you know on the you know uh, on the uh, on the store already you know so it doesn't make any sense for them to go ahead and do that also after sega released you know Sega ages and they said they're they're not waiting for Nintendo anymore for them to say that uh, basically in a nutshell and release their Sega ages and try to come and they don't want to wait for the virtual console I told you guys I don't think it's gonna happen it doesn't make any sense and right now they're coming out with that subscription service which is which we're gonna get into that as well uh, which they want you to basically rent games that we already have this is a very stupid move on nintendo's part extremely stupid and of course i had a bunch of fanboys telling me you don't know what you're talking about virtual console they promised us they said it's going to come out well to be honest they said that it's not going to cut they didn't say it's going to come out or not they just said it's not going to come out by uh launch date uh and uh, as you know nintendo tends to speak very backwards a lot very shady as i told you guys time and times again and i'm a nintendo fan but i'm not a fanboy and i don't forgive their shortcomings i want to see that company you know soar so i like to present facts and to uh, to have justifiable complaints that are justified for, uh, you know, for their shady practices, like every other company, whether it be Play uh, PlayStation Vita, as you remember, I trashed the hell out of that, and then Sony later on abandoned it, as you can tell, when I was telling you guys that they were going to, and they did in the forums. Now I released, you know, this channel, and I'm telling you guys the absolute truth based on my investigation that is extremely extensive, which I don't go according to rumors. I don't release videos till I'm 100% accurate on what's going on, Okay. I told you, based on my investigation, all the videos I was telling you about, it doesn't make sense for them to release a virtual console. And I knew, and I said that in my other video, that their subscription, and my other videos before, uh, that their subscription service that they're going to do is going to mimic the PlayStation Vita's PlayStation 3 you know, uh, 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 games that are going to be streamed. Now again, we don't know if it's going to be streamed. What we do know is, based on many, well, it's rumors, but pretty much they give pretty much every type of hint that they're going to do that, is they're going to have these games, these old games that are going to be able to be rented. But guys, if you put your, uh, you know, two and two together here, how are they going to know who has a subscription? How are they going to know, uh, you know, uh, who rented what? In order for these things to happen, to be implemented in the in the Switch, you need to have some kind of online service, okay? 
So for you, uh, let's say I'm on the, uh, on the train or whatever, I don't think I'm going to be able to play my games that I want, even if I were to do the subscription service and pay that year, which I think is worth it. They have a good deal for their, uh, you know, for online, which is pretty cool for games that are worth it. But for games that you already own for years on end, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, you know, Nintendo 64... To, be, to just be able to rent it is kind of stupid, to be honest with you. And I know some of you guys on the forums are like, well, Lior, you know, you know that, that's not going to happen. They're going to release a, a virtual console and blah, blah, blah. And I told you guys, it's not going to happen. It, do, it's not, it doesn't look like it's, it's benefiting them in any way. And you have to remember, whether you think, you know, Nintendo loves you or not, it's a business when it comes down to it, okay? And it all dep and I think it's a very stupid business decision on their part. And I know some of you guys said, well, they care about their independent market, so they're taking away money from the independent market. That's bullshit. Because they're still selling their classic Super Nintendos, classic this, classic that. They're still having sort of games. I mean, it was being marketed at some point, even though I know so the Nintendo Classic was sold out, and I don't really follow it because I really don't care for the uh, for these things because I have my actual actual Nintendo still here. I have my actual Super Nintendo and N64 still present in my house. The thing is, I would have loved to see something that I can do on an Android phone where I could play Nintendo 64 games, all my, all my games that I own legally because you're allowed to keep a backup copy. I, I could play my Nintendo games, I could play Genesis games, I could play all the games I want on my Android device. So for it to be able to be playable on the Nintendo Switch was cool with the Joy-Con instead of stupid touchscreens. I would have loved that. And they could have sold it just like they did and they did pretty well on the on the Mario Arcade edition and they're doing great. Why not just sell it on the market and just make it more organized? I mean, it's so you have to sift through so much crap to find good games on the Nintendo eShop, which is so stupid. They should have made it like classic games, independent games. Triple A games, put it in damn freaking categories. The virtual console would have been so good to be organized too. But also at the same time, to make some money, you know, whatever you could squeeze out of uh, us customers, that would have been great. But now you're going to probably most likely do it on the subscription service, <coughs> which is most likely going to be streamed. Because just like the PlayStation uh, Vita did it with the PlayStation 3 games, which is so corny and so bad that had many, many issues. And I'm not even going to go into the Vita. That's why I don't trust Sony at all anymore, even though I have a PlayStation 4. I still don't trust them at all. If they ever came out with a Sony Vita 2, uh, you know, uh, whatever, I would never believe them ever again after seeing how they abandon, quickly abandon everything. Now, if I, I wasn't given a PlayStation 4 as a gift, you best your ass, I would not have bought it. I'm a PC gamer anyway. I love I, most of the all the games on a PC. Obviously, plays better, looks better, and everything when you have a powerful machine. The thing is, I really was looking forward to a portable system that would let me play all my favorite games. I was hoping even for Wii games for Wii, you know Wii U. I knew they're not going to do that because they just come out with remakes <coughs> and just release it and, and charge you the same uh, price as as a brand new game and market it like a brand new game, which is also shady and stupid. But whatever. The point is, I was prepared. I don't care as long as I'm taking it on the go. You know, like uh, games like Donkey Kong Country, uh, you know, for the Super Nintendo, I would have loved to play that, you know, on the go. Especially when I have now Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which obviously is a remake and marketed also as a brand new game, $60 price point, stupid. But it was so cool to, ca to take it on with me on the go. I love doing that. It, it was worth, uh, you know, to me it was worth it, I guess. Even though I got it because you guys requested it, I still, and I was thanking you guys in that video because I loved the game and I really enjoyed playing it. And, and based on the sales, it was doing extremely well. It's doing great. And it, it's so cool to take it on the go. And wouldn't you love to see Wii games or Super Nintendo games, Nintendo 64 games on the Nintendo Switch? Uh, that would have been epic. But like I told you guys, it didn't make sense to me why they would release a virtual console when I'm thinking how Nintendo is doing with already looking at the eShop. I just didn't see it, how it was going to benefit them in any way. And I said, I have a hunch, guys, that 
it is not going to come out that they're not going to release a virtual console. And again, I was proven correct. And they said they're, that's not on their focus. After radio silence of almost two years, this is what they say. They say well, that's not their focus now, implying that they're not going to give a crap about the virtual console. I don't think it's going to come out at all. I just don't think so. And it's so freaking unfortunate because... Systems like the Wii, the Wii and all of that, you could always play these games and now you're not going to be able to play these games on the Nintendo Switch without doing some subscription stupid service that's most likely going to be streamed. Okay, again, I don't like to say things till I'm 100% sure, but I'm just, since we're doing this video, I'm just going to say it doesn't make sense if it's not streamed. How do you detect what you rented? How do you detect... Uh, you know, when your subscription is out, when you are have a subscription. It obviously has to do with online. And most likely it's going to be a streaming uh, thing, which as we saw in the Nintendo Vita, streaming didn't work that well with the uh, PlayStation 3 games. It didn't. I have it and it's still, you know, it didn't work good at all that I did it, uh, that I canceled the subscription. And that's why I think they're going with Nintendo and Super Nintendo games cuz to do Wii games on this would not probably work well uh enough. So I, I don't know. I just think it's a very stupid move on Nintendo. I think their online stru structure was great to have uh to buy things online or to play your friends online. So you have to be prepared when I want to play my friends online, you know, one on one or you know, a whole uh, you know, first person shooter games all together like Splatoon play against everybody. That's cool, but you'll be ready for that. But for Nintendo Super Nintendo games why are you not selling them and instead it's going to be like you're renting it because as long as you pay for the subscription you get them as long if you don't you don't and why would you want to stream games like that why would you not just want to take it on the go when obviously android you could play all those games right now on it it just doesn't make any freaking sense and you see it's things like this that i know i told you i'm against hackers and blah 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 but it's things like this that make me really cherish hackers i just don't want them coming out with things to to uh, you know, get free games on the Nintendo Switch because it's going to kill it. What I do think I, I would really love if hackers could c come out with a way for custom firmware so we can end this garbage already and this shady garbage crap that's by Nintendo. By you know, Sony did the same thing and all all these companies are doing and come out with ways to do homebrew like uh, uh, to play your old games again, like Super Nintendo Wii, a uh, uh, PlayStation Two emulator would be sick on the on the uh, Nintendo Switch. I would love to see that those kind of things, these emulators. And obviously I own all of these games that I would download. I'm not that type that would steal uh, something. I come out with a lot of things myself. I don't like it when somebody takes my stuff. But to permit me to play games that I already have and to take it on the go like Nintendo games or Super Nintendo games, Wii games, PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games... This would be really cool for hackers to go ahead and do that, and right now to up the, you know, to up it a little bit in speed and try to get these things going because this is just stupid. Nintendo has been doing one stupid move after another, and it's just really ridiculous. I really want to love, uh, love it, and I love my system. I love my Nintendo Switch. Uh, it is the absolute best companion I could take with me on the go. But after all of these issues that they're that they're doing right now, all of this crap and shady practices, I don't know where where it leads. I have no idea where this is going to lead. I love my you know my 3DS. I love my Game Boy Advance. I love my Nintendo 64, my GameCube, my you know Super Nintendo, my Nintendo. I love those systems. I love Nintendo. Okay, and I had my Wii U, and I was pissed off the way things went there, but. Their quality control sucks. Their decision making, their marketing strategy sucks. I don't think they understand what the hell they're doing. I think they're a little bit hyper and overzealous a little bit that things are going well for now. But why are you going to, you know, t turn it back into a crapshoot to see if some things work, some things don't? Listen to your fucking customers for, for, I can't, I can't even say this. Listen to your customers. Listen to your customers. We've been wanting that virtual console forever. And now you come and say that's not your priority. <laughs> I mean, after bricking systems, you'd figure you'd get something right, right? And yes, they did brick systems, fanboys. They bricked systems, okay? Because before that, they had no issues with any of the docks, with any of the wires and all of these things. 
Now everything is becoming shady because now first they market it as, oh, you could use anything. It's open to any USB crap. And then suddenly, no, it's bricking systems right after the update. Congratulations, you protected yourselves. Great, but you're screwing your customers. Then you said, and the warranty. And we're going to get into that in another video. And, and guys, I have something to tell you. Unfortunately, they're taking things back. And again, it's starting to be extremely shady. And I know many of my friends who have the Wii U will not jump to the Switch. They will not do it. And many on forums you could read, they will not jump to the Switch. Because of these horrible things with the breaking, with the crap, with the... They have even one was talking about the bending and the heating and... They're going to wait for another uh, one and to see how it fares. I mean, this is what's going to happen. And and whether we're fans of it or not, I'm a big fan of Nintendo, but I ain't no fanboy. I don't forgive stupidity. Okay? And I told you guys, you know, and, and, and so many has been launching on me. That's not what it is. You know, put your passion where it belongs. Make the, the company that you love, make them better. By calling them out on their stupidity so they do away with it. If you don't complain, they're not going to do anything about it. Do you understand? That's how it works. Anyways. Great idea on the online subscription. The fees are very cheap. Congratulations, Nintendo, for that. In terms of not releasing the virtual console and to... You know, I'm not going to judge them on the streaming yet, even though I, I don't see any way else they could do it. Until it's a fact, I can't judge them on that. But guys, because you're not releasing a virtual console, when you practically set it in a way that is basically like promising that it was going to come out, it, when you tell people, well, it's not going to come out and launch, even though you released every leak that says it might come out, and all these rumors of these people, you know, these hackers saw that they had some coding for a virtual console. And I told you guys, this is not going to happen. And you guys said, oh, they found it inside. You know, they, the hackers found it. I said, it's not going to happen. And guys, I am proven right. It is not happening. I don't see it happening. You know, in a, in a, to be honest, I don't see it happening at all. But it might happen in a later system, in a different revision. Right now, I think Nintendo is focusing most of their concerns on the revision three, which they're calling revision two, okay? Because like I told you, the first uh, the the first one that came out, which is in launch or close to launch date, are the only systems that are being bricked. The other ones I've been trying time and time again. It's not being bricked. The Mario from Mario Odyssey days. I don't know. I can assure you that and on. I know people from October and on, and they said they had no issues or bricking. So, and no matter how much they tried. So, this is really the one I have is the Revision 2. The next one is going to be the Revision 3. And I think that's what they're really focusing on to get these things off the street. And who knows, guys? We're not safe because they might come out with now another update to purposely screw and break these systems. They don't want these systems out there. They don't want it there. These are going to be worth a ton of money, believe me, if you hold on to it. And and this is why, and they did the same thing with the PlayStation. The, Nintendo is not the only one that's guilty. Sony was guilty too, if you remember. They started screwing up with systems of the PSP. When they started coming out with that, that's why they came out with different revisions to fight against hacking. But it's because of things like that, because of the shady practices of attacking its customers. I love hackers. And I love that the PSP released custom firmware so that we didn't have to download these firmwares that are purposely damaging our system. And I know you guys are thinking, oh, they're not purposely doing that. That would be a very stupid move. No, it's not. That's what they did. Before, it didn't do that. And now they released an update that did it. Okay? And, and they said, we're welcoming all of the warranties. Bring it back and we'll replace it even if it goes, you know, if it's over warranty, they'll still replace it. Uh, that's basically them doing a recall without giving, without saying we're doing a recall. Okay, I mean that's really what it's what it's coming down to. And right now, uh, which I'm going to release in another video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their new warranty thing and how they switch things around. And it's something that a lot of people need to understand right now. And if I were you, I would do anything in my power to give your old Nintendo Switches back to them. Call them, do whatever it is. Just try to get a replacement ASAP because most I'm talking about the ones of the original the. The first, uh, the launch date ones or whatever. Even if you didn't brick your systems, uh, I mean, if you're using Nintendo signed stuff, I, I'm sure it's not. It's going to be fine. But and they said they're still covering certain things. But we're going to go into that in another video. But on, in this video, I'm just going to tell you, I knew this was going to happen, and I and I stated this, and you know, this is a very very stupid move 
on Nintendo. And Nintendo, I hope you're seeing this. I hope you're seeing the forums that a ton of us out there, especially Nintendo fans like myself, who actually care about your company and want to see you guys strive, especially when you come out with something so awesome, like you always do. You come out with something great, and then some other company perfects it and takes over. I don't want to see that happening again, like with the PlayStation 3 and all of that, I, when they took uh, you know, the technology from the Wii U, when they had those wands and all of that stuff. I mean, from the Wii. Guys, you got a great, great product. It's time that you under to, that you listen to your customers. I understand you're walking on eggshells with third-party developers and investors, but understand both of those things will not give a crap about you if your customers are not happy. We are the money bank, okay? We are the money bags that are spending money on your system. If there is no request, okay, if there is no demand for it, your supply is worthless. Do you understand? This basic economics, I'm telling you. And right now, you could have squeezed more money out of Nintendo fans by releasing these games on a virtual console, by releasing these games for purchase. Instead, you're not taking advantage of all the money you could be making. Again, stupid money decisions, stupid business decisions. And as always, I said, their quality control and business head of business uh, affairs or whatever should be fired and should be uh, somebody else should be hired in their place because they have no idea how to make money they just don't so that's that comment down below let me know what you guys think like i said i always provide you guys with honest truth might be hard to hear don't get me wrong it is hard to hear if i would hear this i'd probably hate me but I, i'm doing this with good intent to help you guys out get a bit get a view of a bigger picture and, you know, and for you guys to, to know your own self, to do your own research and to look and see for yourselves that what I'm saying here is not out to Zets Nintendo. It's out because I love Nintendo. I want to see it succeed. I'm calling it out on its bullshit. Okay, they have great games that are out. Amazing start. Everything is great in sales. But they're literally screwing their customers over by doing stupid moves. Moves that like the virtual console that can be easily fixed. You know, it's not their focus after radio silence for close to two years. Ridiculous. Just out of this freaking world. Anyways, comment down below. As always, self-funded here. I do all these reviews and I, uh, you know, unboxings, all that stuff. Give you guys honest reviews. The only thing I ask is to, to like the video, share the video, uh, comment on the video. I want to hear what you have to say, obviously. I don't like hearing myself talk. And also, um, uh, subscribing. And hitting that bell button. What a tall list, huh? But uh, because many more videos are to come, including a how to a build a, a gaming computer on the cheap a mini series that I'm releasing every Sunday now, and uh, reviewing parts and then showing you guys how to build it, and then afterwards how to build a helmet from a 3D printer from beginning to end with the paint and everything, and you know to finish product. Definitely stay tuned for a bunch of that and for more uh, uh, Nintendo Switch reviews or anything with to, uh, to do with Nintendo. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.